So if you see me online and you're going, you know, I, I'm an A or a double A, it's like this is because there's a purpose behind my practice sessions, 72. My checkout says triple 16, double 12. And that's what I'll do. All right, welcome back to Ironman Darts. I am a bit inspired right now. I'll tell you why in a second. Did I make it or is that a tie? Oh, I got it, barely. So, hey, glad uh, you're watching. Thank you for subscribing. Of course, new videos every day in 2023. You know, watching that Booyah Cup recently, been uh, focusing on my 01 game quite a bit. And with the focus of ignoring the bulls. You know, I'm watching these guys play 01, the Bagishes, um, Letter Gates, the Kevin Lukes, and they're not playing bull. They're all triple 20s, man, and they're doing it so awesome. So, last uh, couple weeks, I've been just uh, challenging myself to avoid the bull in games of 01, to work on the triples elsewhere. And those guys make it look so easy. You know, triple, 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 ton 80s, left and right, 140s, and there's just great. So I've been purposefully avoiding in practice, not in league, but in practice, avoiding the bull to work on that triple 20. And I'm, you know, maybe I'm getting 33% of the time. That'd be nice. If I hit 33% of the time, then odds are I'll probably average 100 because I'll hit a couple 20s or maybe a stray dart will hit something else, but then I might hit a couple triple 20s. So that's what I've been working on and just be inspired by the top level players to make that a focus. And when I do, it also helps my cricket game. And that's where the real strategy and the real skill level, I think, comes into play. The combination of both, not just skill, it's, it's the strategy. You know, two equally talented players, strategy will, will win. So I'm just working on triples. And if I hit a couple triples, I might go down to triple 19. And I'll play my, one of my buddies, and I'll, well, it's kind of an understood rule that I'm gonna be doing that. He doesn't have to, but I'm gonna do that. And every once in a while, I'll use my whiteboard, and I'll let the player know, because my microphone's usually off, Hey, let's uh, no bowls, okay? If we both agree, it makes it more fun. It makes it fair. It feels fair. Ah. So, anyways, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I just challenge whoever, did he challenge me? I'm just gonna play whoever I can in 01. So statistically, my rating card doesn't reflect I guess what I can throw, it's uh, because I'm working on things. So if you see me online and you're going, you know, I, I'm an A or a double A, it's like this is because there's a purpose behind my practice sessions, 72. My checkout says triple 16, double 12. And that's what I'll do. So I'm just kind of going around the board and just playing and working the board and you know I do uh, my league game as you've watched in some of the recent videos we have O ones and the bull is open so anytime you hit any part of the bull it's a 50 so we don't go for triple 20 it's a bigger more high percentage shot so in league that's the key if you can hit bowls in O one, one you're better off and here's the thing I want to do right now I'm gonna chase until I get ahead Oops. Double 20. Oh, that was actually off the board. So in these games, I don't care if I win or lose these cricket matches. I'm trying to make it as difficult as possible. And I, I like to put myself in a situation where I'm chasing on purpose. Or if I hit a single, I'm gonna go for a double. So right now, I'm gonna finish off the 20s before I move on. And it may throw off my opponent. He's going, what the hell? Why would you do that? And it's because I'm working at focus, because I need a strong why. I need a purpose behind my practice. 
And if it's to chase, it's to um, make it hard for myself, it's a lot more fun. So I'm going to go 18s. I don't care about the guy's 17, 18s. Double. Ah, the weak double. So if you play me and you're going, that is the worst strategy I've ever seen, I'm not playing you. I'm playing me. And sometimes like that, it's like, boom, cool. Nice little seven mark. And now my opponent is going, uh oh, <laughs> I'm rattling off some big numbers. So he has, so in, in a way, unintentionally, it's putting pressure on him to do things. Now, if I happen to hit a nine mark here, I'm actually in the lead. Ah, that was all over the place. Good for him. I kind of like it coming down to the bowl because it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. It's just bowl. Ah. And I'd rather do that. Just, it just puts some pressure to have to hit these. And now my opponent's going, uh-oh, uh-oh. Every one of his darts are pretty important. Oh. Ah. See, that sucks. No excuses. Let you know this is my uh, second match of the day. I didn't do any warm-up. I just play one guy, and then I played this. All right. I need four. Could have used one more last time. Uh-oh, double would win. Double would win. And I, I like that. I don't care that I won. It's, it's, the, it's the process of getting there, the playing it harder, making it harder. I mean, winning the last dart. He had one dart to go. So um, what, what, do it again? We do it again? OK. We'll do three leg medley. Yeah, so that's what uh, I'm doing these days <sighs> to challenge myself, to give me some purpose. Otherwise, just playing sometimes like, why am I playing? I wanna know why I'm playing. And if I have to hit something, the focus increases. All right, let's do this. So again, oh, this is master in. So this is what I'm doing too, because there's a different league in my league, a different night that requires a double in. Ah. Some people go for double 20, I'm just not there yet. I think I, last night I played one of these where I was a master in, it took me nine darts to hit double 20. But I didn't care because that's what my goal was, I need to work on these things, just like I'm trying to work on uh, triple 20s versus the Bulls. Ooh. And that was a really a alignment issue hitting that triple five. It sounds, may sound kind of weird, but I'm never playing you. I'm playing me. It's never, well, sometimes it's personal, but it's never supposed to be personal. I'm here playing myself. I like to have a live person to go against for that human factor. Although animals are good too because they're consistent. You know what they're going to do. But I may not look at you. I'm not concerned what you're doing. I'm concerned what's available. Now, 19s, why not? And that's just a practice technique. Yeah, 20 is a little bit blocking, but there, there was room there. I 
still have two visits anyway. I could have used a triple though. Ah. <laughs> it's kind of fun being disappointed with a ton because that means at least I'm hitting a triple and that's why I'd rather do that. So 92, that's an easy one, triple 20. Is that right? 42, ah, yeah, I guess I'll do that route. What does the board say? It says triple 20, double 60, that's what it was, yeah. Yeah, of course that's what it is. And that's how we started. Well, at double, double eight was how I started. So there you go, that is a realistic out in steel tip, so that's what I'm trying to do. And I average almost a 30, which is a decent two. Anyhow, now we've got one more game of cricket with this gentleman, unless he gets me, and then we have a, a third game, which you can very well get me. He, he got me last time, right? I had one dart. So I'm gonna do the chase here too. Chasing again. That was a little blockage, huh? Started too high. Started way too high. I'd rather start lower. Oh, does he know how important that miss was? Probably so. My goodness, left to the right. That was not a good flow. That one is killing me. I'm sick of that triple seven. Look at that. If I would have hit that 19, I would have been in a better position. Ugh. I'm just chasing him. So I'm not going to go for any, any points until I, I'm behind, until I catch up to him. Oh. I almost went 15, but I'm trying to follow my own rules. Ah. Oh, I hit the dart, but not good enough, huh? You know, it's not about wins and losses. I could easily win if I wanted to. It's about challenging myself to a harder game. And I have yet to start, right? Not maybe the opening game. Ooh. It's a little bit off. A little bit off. Okay, it's up to him. I just follow him right now. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, look at that. Both of those, above and below. I was on the right side of the line and that explains why that first one was a one right there. I stepped to the right as prepping for the 19. So I stepped to the right. Okay. Oh, that 
look good, but. Now he's chasing me. Well, it does have the point lead. Now I'm going to move on. I'm just moving on. What the heck? Now I move on because, you know, like that, I'm not worried about points because I could get a four mark and get a point lead. God, that was ugly. Now I'm just going to go 16s until I close it. 15s until I close it. I've tried those techniques a number of times with one of my buddies and uh, it, it helps me just focus on my game and not their game. If I just close and move on, close and move on, I'm not worried about what they're doing. See now it's just one dart, I win. Because I just focused on me and that's it. Focused on closing and moving on, closing, moving on. And this is what I do. I like this to finish off the bowl. I'm not about stats right now. I'm just gonna go to the bowl until I, I get enough points to win. It's easily, I can go for 15, but that's what I wanted to do. And I do this with my friend too. I just, I, I let, until I get the lead, I'm gonna go with the bowls until I get the lead. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thanks, man. Let's see, let's see how crappy my average is right now. Yeah, I don't even care. So there you go. That's a little medley today, but it's a way that I'm practicing that you can think of too. If, if you want to do it, it's, it's, I find it more challenging to make, make practice more interesting if you go in with a plan and stick to the plan. If, the, if winning is not the objective, it's the byproduct of what your goal is. So if I'm going for triples instead of bulls, because I know I can hit bulls, but I don't know if I can hit enough triples to be you know, high up. So if I work on triples, and then triples become easier. Once you, not master, but once you get really good at one area, move on to something else. Work on those weak areas to make it as well-rounded as you can. Where are your areas that are weakest? Are doubles your problem? Then add doubles to the cricket game. Single, go double. Single, go double. Go double, then go single. Or do a t couple of doubles. I have found when the triple 16 is blocked, because of how I've shot my dart, I'm okay hitting a couple of double 16s. It's a bigger target anyway. If you're along that line, you got a bigger target versus going for that triple, which may be blocked and you have a deflection issue. So maybe use some of these little ideas, work on your game, dominate your game. I know it's hard, don't play the opponent, play yourself. Like I did tonight, I just like close, move on, close, move on, close. Next thing you know, I've got some numbers closed, it's just a matter of points, boom, boom. And if, if, it's a, if it's league, if it's a tournament, that may change things, but you're building some confidence as you go along. Anyways, that's my recap. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. New videos every day. Adios.